This month, I've been fascinated by the concept of upside down. In painting, artists will turn their canvas upside down to gain new perspective on the picture they're creating. This allows them to see details like the balance of negative space, the harmony of colors, and the ratios of light and dark. It gives them new insights into the overall composition and whether it's working or not. This idea of turning things on their head to gain new insights has inspired me both in my personal life and professional life. Obviously, some things are right side up for a reason. For example, things would get pretty messy pretty quickly if we tried to walk on our hands instead of our feet, if we drove our cars backwards, or if we slept all day instead of at night. But last week I ran a program at Amherst Ballet where the children played the teachers and taught the grown-ups how to dance. It was truly like magic. All of a sudden, the children became oracles of wisdom, experts in their field, commanding the room, and the grown-ups who attended laughed and danced like toddlers learning to use their arms and legs. It was incredibly enriching, enlightening, and just a lot of fun. So then I thought, can we use this same concept of upside down to transform our own lives? So I tried it out. Monday morning, rather than start the week rushed and stressed, I began my day with a long, hot bath. I set aside some time to make art and daydream a little. When I went in to teach ballet that afternoon, we did an improvisation dance where I had my students imagine that they were an upside down rainstorm. Their imaginations flew around the room like lightning. Some dancers became raindrops falling up. Others danced like puddles hung in the sky. And others imagined they were umbrellas that protected you from dry air. We asked ourselves, what if a rainstorm could make you happy instead of sad? It was the most gleeful rain dance I've ever seen. The idea of upside down is not dissimilar to things working backwards, too. And I thought a lot about how Einstein proved that even our concept of time is relative. I let myself imagine what the world would look like if we turned everything on its head. What if we let the kids play the adults? What if instead of wars, we played finger puppets? What if we could turn a rainstorm upside down? What if we made a daily task of doing nothing and put daydreaming on our agendas and our to-do lists? What if we overturned our attempts to constantly get somewhere and realized that we've already 